So if you're watching this today and you're one of the many hearing aid users that finds music overly tinny, perhaps you find it uncomfortable or distorted, or maybe it just doesn't sound like it ought to, then this is definitely the video for you. No, this video title is not clickbait, and yes, it is easily possible to improve the sound of music with your hearing aids for less than $5. And you can even do this from the comfort of your own home without having to see your audiologist. Does this sound too good to be true? Well, I promise it isn't. By day, I'm an audiologist running London's biggest independent audiology practice, which specializes in musicians with hearing loss. And by night, I'm sharing everything that I know on here with you, aiming to keep you up to date with the latest news in the hearing technology world. So make sure that you subscribe if you want to keep your finger on the pulse with all things hearing related. It doesn't matter whether you're in a band, perhaps you're an orchestral musician, or maybe you enjoy just going to concerts or listening to music at home. Then this trick can make the world of difference to all of you. And what is it? Scotch tape. You heard me right, scotch tape also known as clear adhesive tape or sellotape, depending on where you live in the world. And I have a ton of positive feedback from patients trying this to improve their music experience every single day. So just wait, wait, wait for a second. Before you leave, hear me out. Even with today's modern components built into hearing aids, if the volume or intensity of music is too loud for their microphones, then instantly your hearing aids will be overwhelmed. A distortion will then occur and the hearing aids will be processing distorted sound from the moment that it enters your hearing aids. Unfortunately, at this point, no amount of hearing aid adjustments made by your audiologists will improve the quality of sound and make music sound like it ought to. So by simply placing a few layers of scotch tape over the microphones, this will reduce the volume of sound entering your hearing aids. This tricks them into thinking that what they're hearing is actually lower than it is and it removes that initial distortion. Now you may need to experiment a little and it may also require a different number of layers depending on the capacity in which you're exposed to music. But normally I find that between three to five layers does just the trick. Now, depending on the hearing aids that you have, the microphones may be sat in different places. I've got a phone like Lumity in front of me here and you'll notice a microphone port here, here and here. So your aim should be to take a piece of scotch tape and place it over those openings. Now I know it doesn't look particularly pretty when you've spent thousands of dollars on your hearing aids, but my focus with this video is to get your hearing better rather than how good your hearing aids look. So go on, amuse me. Do a little experiment now and put on your favorite music, whether it's Bach's Brandenburg Concertos or Paint It Black by the Rolling Stones. Grab some scotch tape and add a layer over your microphones. Why not listen to how it sounds both before and after covering the microphones? and then add a few extra layers to see the difference that it can make. I would absolutely love to hear your feedback, so drop me a note in the comments beneath this video as to whether you've had any success or not. Now that's all from me for today, guys. Next, you should 100% check out this video, which contains my checklist to take to your audiologist, covering what I consider to be the essential settings for your hearing aids for the optimization of music. If you found this video useful, then go ahead and click like. If you have any questions or comments, then drop them beneath this video. I do aim to get back to as many people as possible. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do so. I'll see you in the next video.